gonna play the Home Depot music. Oh, okay. you know it. <laughs> If you've been watching my videos recently, you might have recognized those, and you might even think they're real nano leaves. They're not, and today I'm going to show you how to make them for less than $50. And in certain configurations, you might not even need to solder. Also, I recommend watching this whole video before starting the project, just to get an idea for what you'll need to do. First, you'll need to decide what size to make them. You can really use this tutorial to make any shape, but I find triangles to be the easiest. I made the base of mine a 10 inch equilateral triangle. Once the sides are on it, it becomes exactly 10.5 inches equilateral. I recommend cutting out the shape you want with some paper and taking time to decide what configuration you want them in. Go to your local Home Depot and get a 0.5 centimeter thick craft foam board, hardware store 0.08 inch plexiglass, a length of LED strips, a hot glue gun, a soldering iron and solder, some thin paper large enough to fit over one of your shapes, a half eaten croissant, a plexiglass cutting tool, and an X-Acto knife. Start by cutting out four 10 inch equilateral triangles from the foam, then outline and cut out the side pieces to be 10 and a half inches by one inch. For my four triangles, I needed 12 side pieces. Then cut roughly 60 degree bevels off each one so they fit around the bottom piece perfectly. You can just eyeball these cuts as the hot glue will hide your crimes. Then just start gluing them together to make your shapes. Once you have your shell, cut some corner struts and glue them in place. For my triangle, I made them about four centimeters by one centimeter. Now lay all your pieces out in the order you want them in, and decide how to wire your LEDs. When you figure out your plan for routing the LEDs, cut out the channels for them to pass between panels. Mine looked like this. You'll need to make a control box for your LEDs as well. Take apart the controller the LEDs came with and make a trapezoid shape to fit all the components. Then hot glue it to be as flat as you can inside of it and make room to route the LEDs along the top edge. You'll also need to cut holes in the bottom edge for the IR sensor and the barrel plug to stick out. Now you're ready to start sticking in the LEDs. But before we do that, a word from today's sponsor, the like button. Make sure to hit the like button if you're enjoying this or at least learning something. Videos like this take a lot of effort and it really helps out the channel. Thanks. Starting at the control box, plug them into the controller and stick them to the top edge. Then pass them through the channels and wrap all the way around each triangle, making sure to keep them right up against the foam base. Each time when you wrap around, you should be passing the LEDs back through the same channel and then moving on to the next triangle. You can see how with the right configuration, you could do this entirely without soldering. However, if you want a shape that is not a trapezoid or part of a hexagon, you'll need solder. For this configuration, I only needed to extend it once to get to the top triangle. Find some thin wire. Mine just came from some old networking cable. Use them to extend from one strip to the next. And make sure the wires aren't too long as you won't have much room to pack them away. After you've soldered them to the first strip, cut a hole through the base piece and pull the wires through. Cut another hole in the piece you're extending to and cut a shallow channel along the back for the wires to lay flat. Pass the wires through and solder them to the other strip and finish sticking it to the triangle. Now glue all of your pieces together to make the final shape. Cut out the paper to the right shapes to fit over the panels. I also went ahead and cut out a small logo to put inside it. Now it's time to cut the plexiglass. I cut mine out to be all one sheet to give the assembly more rigidity. Now glue the paper down and glue the plexiglass on top. Make sure to secure it in all the weakest points of your piece. And you should have something that looks like this. Hopefully you enjoyed this video or at least learned something from it. Thanks for watching. Maybe subscribe if you really liked it. And I'll see you in the next one.